what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we're talking about chucky season three in this video here today so chucky season three has officially been renewed well not season three has been renewed the chucky tv show has been renewed over at the usa sci-fi network now i was just minding my business trying to get ready for the last of us tonight just to get prepared to rewatch the episode live when it debuts on hbo and then out of the blue i started seeing the social media accounts related to chucky going crazy one post on instagram and twitter posted two different things one was like i'm thinking of a number this was from the official chucky account over on twitter actually and then the instagram post from the same official chucky account over on instagram said it right what number rhymes with me don mancini chimed in hyping it up the usa official social media accounts chimed in hyping it up so the only number to me that rhymes with me and common sense and a proper educational background for those of you like me <laughs> that are listening to this video would be the number three me rhymes with three and now we started seeing all the speculation start to populate online before we fish we officially got the announcement and the report from deadline not too long ago to tell us that chucky season three is coming and it's coming later this same year it's so it's been renewed it's official we no longer have to worry about whether or not the show was canceled and you will get to see chucky once again later this fall on the usa and sci-fi network now don mancini did put out this comment to talk about the upcoming season and to just talk about the cast and their gratefulness and their thanks to all of the supporters he said the cast and crew of chucky would like to thank fans and critics alike for their overwhelming response to season two which we're delighted to announce has now spurred the official green light on season three this news has made Chucky very happy. Thank Dembala for that because otherwise Chucky would have been frankly impossible to deal with. Many thanks also to our partners at Sci-Fi, USA, and UCP for helping us keep Chucky busy. See you in 2023 for what Chucky himself promises will be his scariest season ever, said Don Mancini in the report coming from Deadline in an official statement. So, again, we now know it's coming this same year. We don't know much about how far along they are in the process. I would think that if the season is still debuting later this same year, despite being renewed so late in the game compared to the last season, that tells me Don Mancini has, of course, already had plans in place for season three, probably already had the scripts being written up while season two was airing. So if you were thinking ahead of the curb and just trying to play it smart, that would let me know why this might be fast tracked once again, just like the second season, because there was plenty of time while the second season was airing for them to outline any ideas of what to do for the season in the third season and to kind of just flesh that out into full-fledged scripts. We know in the past he's done interviews talking about what to expect for Tiffany going into season three and some of the plans they have for Tiffany going into season three. Um, not to get too specific as to what he talked about because he really didn't, but he has teased what to look forward to for season three already. So that tells me with this now official renewal announcement that more like more, more or less, more common likely, he was already prepping for season three, probably has several scripts he already wrote, and now they're just waiting to figure out when they can go into, go into production, and that's why we're going to get this season debuting at the same time we've gotten the last two, which is during the fall on USA and Sci-Fi. Me, just like if you have been watching my channel for the past two years, same process will apply. I will be doing weekly recaps, I will watch the season before it airs, I will do reviews on whatever episodes I get to watch, and I will share my thoughts with you guys spoiler free at first. If you're watching the recaps, of course, you know there will be spoilers in them so of course they're not going to air until after the episode has finished airing live on television but my hopes for season three since he wanted to mention it being the scariest so far i hope that's not just a simple marketing comment i hope he actually means that because i know some of the gripes i had with season two and a lot of you and just season one i guess is that we want this show to feel more in line with movies like curse of chucky the original Child's Play, Child's Play 2, adopt some of that more serious tone that I definitely felt Curse of Chucky was trying to bring back. It slowly dwindled out in Cult of Chucky. And then now with the TV show, the serious tone and like that more horrific nature, it's it's not like outshadowing or overshadowing, I meant to say, the comedic elements, which I would prefer to see over the comedy. The comedy is welcome, but I would love to see a Child's Play television series done in the tone of that original film. With the comedy still present, all the things we love about Chucky still present, but with a more serious approach. 
just so it can feel like that original movie. There's nothing wrong with the two seasons that we've gotten. I think the show has been great. I also recognize that some of the things they need to stop doing is probably setting up plot threads only to abandon them. So for instance, the plan to take over America. That was season one. Season two, all the dolls are destroyed and we, we just have leftovers to try to hunt down, take them out, stuff like that. I would just rather them not try to go so big to then only abandon the plot threads. I also would like to see season three probably try to tie up any loose ends with Tiffany, Lexi, Devin, Jake, and Chucky himself, of course, Chucky himself, of course, and try to get prepared to wrap this all up in a nice neat bow. Cause I think just like with any of the other iconic horror villains, Chucky deserves a proper send off just as much as the next one. I don't want to see Chucky just continue to go on and on and on and on and on. And then ultimately it stopped because of poor ratings, poor critical reception. I don't want this to end like C to Chucky in the vein of this wasn't intended to be the end, but it is the end because we didn't know when to stop. And then our stopping block came when you guys didn't want to see it anymore. So if they want to try to wrap this up in season three, I would love that. Tie up any loose ends, tie up the story with the trio of kids, and then try to t also bridge into this crossover idea that I know is making its rounds over on the internet to try to do a Megan versus Chucky movie. So if you want to do Megan versus Chucky, obviously that is something that can be done after the TV show is wrapped. That can serve as the finale for Chucky himself. It could also serve as a nice way to pass the torch to the character of Megan. And you can do so many other different things once that movie itself has come. Because I'm pretty certain Chucky versus Megan is something they are going to do in the future. I'm pretty certain that's the crossover idea that's being discussed. I don't see them doing any of the, any of the other Universal Monsters with Chucky besides Megan. Megan 2 can come, Chucky Season 3 can come, that can be the final standalone IP entries for them, and then you can clash them into one movie with Chucky vs. Megan serving as the conclusion of Chucky, and then also serving as a passing of the torch moment for Megan. Although, I would prefer Chucky win. On paper, he has no business beating Megan. <laughs> I'm just being quite serious, but I'm glad we're getting season three of Chucky. I hope this is again, the scariest it's ever been since we have started getting this series. And I hope we all can enjoy it. But let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications, and you never miss a video. In the description, I will have links to all my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.